Well, hello, Epic Nation. Welcome back to my channel. This is Santa Epic, and I am gonna continue. Yes, on the last one, we actually left off with uh, Tinker's Construct. We tried to finish the smeltery, which is something that uh, is gonna help us a lot if we actually get that done. So let's continue that now that we have uh, we have our bricks done, which is something that we were missing to actually finish it. So here we go. So we got our standard frame already made, which is the three by three for it. And uh, now let's just add some more bricks. Oops, not where I needed to add some bricks. <laughs> oh man, I wonder how much I have left on this thing. But let's let's get this out of the way here. There you go. All right, cool. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess I could do one more. Uh, hopefully I have enough. Oh my gosh, stop falling. Golly, hold on. Hold on, do I have any dirt? Yes, I do. Because I gotta actually get out of here. Um, right there. There you go. There you go. Don't fall in again. Let's break that out of the way there. There you go. Da, da, da. Just a little magnet just to get that out of there real quick. Sweet. I hear steps. What is that? What is that? Nothing come and kill me. I don't... I don't have the time. I'm telling you. I don't have the time. Don't try to kill me. I think that's actually the, uh, the squids, maybe. Is it squids? Yeah, there they are. Golly. So freaking freaky. All right, let's take this out of the way here. All right, there you go. All right, so we got it. We got that done. It's all good. So now let's put this other materials here. So we're going to put now the um, the, con the smelter controller right there. Now, the different ways you can do this. This is just how I set it up, guys. Uh, this is how I'm used to it. This is how I know that it works for me. Uh, I haven't tested any other way, but you can do some more research on it. We're going to put the tank right there. Sweet. And then over here on the side, I'm going to put a drain. Actually, actually, we got to put a drain right here in the center and one right here in the side. Uh, no, not like that. Come on, drain. You know better than this. You know better than this. Let me drop right there. There you go. Bam. Sweet. All right. And then the rest of it is going to be brick. So this should hold a pretty decent amount of ore in order to actually uh, smelt. There you go. We got it. Sweet. Okay. Now, one last piece that we're going to need. I don't know if I made him. Okay, well, first of all, let's put this uh, let's put this right here. This is where things are going to fall when they get smelt. And this is what we're going to do. Um, if you want to pour uh, multiple amount of ingots in order to make blocks, that's where we actually uh, would do that. Okay, the other thing that we need to do is make the faucets so they can actually fall. Uh, we're going to need two of them. There you go. Right there. And then what you do, you bring those faucets... And you actually connect them in this right here. Bam. Sweet. There you go. And there it is. This smelter is done. Now, I don't know the exact math on how much this can hold. It's not really that important. I mean, you can make this as big as you want, and it'll hold even more in there. Of course, it'll consume more lava and all of that stuff. But, but there you go. If you see this light up, you're good. As long as that thing is lit up, you're good to go. And then we can actually start pouring the stuff. So now the tank, though, we do need some lava for the tank. We can't do anything without lava. So let's go get some lava real quick. Uh, let me make a uh, little bucket. Do I have a little bucket anywhere? No. Let's make a bucket real quick. There we go. So yeah, so we're going to go find some lava. And that is going to be what we need in order to start um, getting this done. All right, there we go. Sweet. Okay, so we got two buckets of lava in there. So now what I'm going to do first is we're going to jump into making some tools. Uh, that's what this episode is going to concern. We're going to do some tools that are going to help us on whatever we want to do. The process of actually making Thinkers Construct tools now is different than it used to be. Before, we were able to do everything on the stencil table and the tool table. Now, we actually have to use the smell tree you know, for actually to get the tools that we need. So let's see how that works. Uh, first of all, we're gonna take a look at this book right here. Okay, while that's happening, let's just let's just uh, let's just start smelting some gold. Now, what you're gonna notice is I'm gonna actually put all of those in there uh, because I might need to use them all. But what you're gonna notice is this right away. When I put this three ore, remember, technically, if I burn it, if I smelt it, it's going to give me just three ingots back. With this though. It'll actually give me six. That's just how it works. 
So we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna use that gold to make some uh, some casting stuff. So, so there we go. So we're gonna put that in there. So technically, we should have uh, nine pieces of ingot by the time we're done. So there you go. So that's what it is. And as you can see inside, see that down there. See that? Once it's done, that all will be liquid. Then we'll be able to pour it either through this faucet or this faucet. But there you go, right there. See? Don't fall in. You can die. <laughs> or damage the whole thing and it just something. Just, there you go. See that liquid? There you go. Liquid gold, people. Liquid gold. Sweet. All right. We're not going to do anything with that just yet. I'm going to need to start making some other thing to construct machines right now. Okay. So here we go. So let's take a look at this uh, book. So this is the very first book you get. And, uh, oh, oh, let me show you something else before we continue. Uh, if you look over here, and you look at in here, it'll tell you how much gold you have. And check it out. Just like we said, we ended up with nine ingots instead of just six. So we're going to use that. Hopefully, that's going to be enough for us to get uh, our casing done. We'll see. I kind of doubt it. But we'll, uh, we'll make the basics just to start so you know. And then uh, we'll get into some advanced more think constructs here in a moment. Okay, so there you go. Let's take a look at the book right away. Uh, we got the book. Let's see. We're going to create a blank patterns. We're going to, need to make a lot of those because, we, as you can see, each one it uses one per thing to make. Look at that. All right. We definitely don't have the materials for that yet, but we will. Trust me. Okay. So let's go. Uh, Let's close this thing before our friends come to pay us a visit, and then we end up, uh, you know, dead. Not a good idea when you're hardcore. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So let's get started. Um, we're gonna need some uh, some wood. We got we got plenty of wood to get things going over here. All right, so we're gonna make some uh, some patterns real quick. Okay. All right, let's make uh, let's make a bunch of them. There you go. Just in case. All right, cool. Let's empty our inventory a little bit here. I'm going to drive you nuts. I told you guys that I was driving nuts with my inventory. My inventory is never clean. It drives everybody insane. <laughs> All right, so the first one right here. It was just a little plank and that on top. That creates the stencil tool. We'll find out exactly what those things are for in a moment. And there you go. You get a book. You get another book. You get the uh, materials in you book. Technically, you're supposed to start like this. One, two, and three. We kind of jump over here because we wanted to upward more of our ore. I don't know. It's just the way I do it. Don't follow my directions like that. Just go one, two, three. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we got that there. The other thing we're gonna need is I remember there's one with a uh, crafting table. There you go. The tool station. Sweet. All right. Let's see what else do we need. Uh, we got the stencil table. We got the. Oh, there we go. We need the park crafter. There you go. So that it requires like this. The pattern, bam, bar crafter, and last we require a uh, a chest. There you go. Let's make a pattern chest. What that'll do is it'll actually all all that will do is whole chest for you. That's that's it. <laughs> it'll 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 be a chest for you, a stencil tool that you create. So no um, no particular big purpose on it, but it works. There we go. Sweet. All right. Um, the order in which this goes is a little. Uh, debatable for some people. I'm just gonna put it the way that I feel that you know it should go, the way I do it, and that's it is what it is. Okay, so we go. So we're going to put. Um, thinking putting this here. This is the stencil table. We'll put that. And put this. Mm, maybe. Yeah, that's good right there. Let's put the stencil table. That's how it works. And then over here, that chest is connected to this. So you can pick patterns up and put them right there as you store them. And then the same stuff is when you actually put things together on. Okay. So here we go. So we got that done. So now we're going to make our first pattern. What I want to do is I want to create a pattern. You just put a blank pattern in there and then you click next and it'll show you what you want, whether it's a pickaxe head or, you know, anything like that will do. What we're going to do is very simple. I'm going to show you what. Uh, let's make a uh, let's make just a standard pickaxe for now, okay? So for that we're going to need a pickaxe head. Let's see, let's make it. Oh, I lost it. There we go. There you go. We need a pickaxe head. We need. If you don't know what you need, go into this book, the red book. Take a look. 
And there you go to tell you, we need a pickaxe head, a tool rod, and a tool binding. Alright, so let's make a tool rod. Uh, this is sword blade. Oh, we need a tool binding. Let's get that. And let's make a tool rod. Knife blade. Is that it? A tough tool rod. Let's get just a regular one. I might have passed it already. Oh, of course I did. Oh, there it is. Tool rod. Okay. So now, this is different though. Uh, as you know before, we used to just craft everything right here. Oh, on this table, you see, this is where you store the, the patterns right there on the chest. And you used to just easily go and put this right here, put the material you wanted in here, and you'll get the actual um, my, my pickaxe head or anything like that. We, you really don't can do that now. You need to make, um, uh, oh God, casing, I think it's called. We'll see. We'll find out exactly what it's called. But what we're going to do now is we're going to create this pattern out of stone first, Okay. So that's what you want to do. Just follow these steps. You make it out of stone first. So let's do that. All right. And then let's put the tool rod. Actually, we'll just leave that there. Put that there. There you go. And I think I can make this one with just that. There you go. The stone mine. So we make everything out of stone first. Why? I'll show you why. Because what we really want in order to complete this is we're going to actually make this guys right here. What you want to do is you want to grab the first piece. So let's just say we want to make a, uh, we're going to make a casing of this guy right here. So let's put it right there. Right click, we, we got gold in there. You can use bronze too to make this happen. We're going to use gold right now. You click it right there. And there you go. You get a cast. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. A cast, a pickaxe at cast. So now the same process applies now to the cast. Whatever material we have in the smell tree, we'll be able to just pour it into the cast and it'll automatically uh, fill the cast with that material, such as iron or anything else that you need. So now that we're done with that one, we're going to do the same thing for the stone binding. There you go. Hopefully we have enough. And lastly, for the stone rod. There you go. There you go. So there you go. So now we have all three pieces that we need. Okay. So it turns out that now, as you can see, we're going to actually smelt one single ingot of iron. Let me show you why. Oh, let's sleep again. No, not quite there yet. All right. Before it becomes nighttime, if you check over here, we actually have three ingots left. Now, the problem is that we don't want to waste any ingots. We want to actually get those out before we pour any other material inside there. So we go. So we're going to take one of these and what you want to do is you want to make a cast out of ingots too. One ingot cast that you can actually pour the remainder out if you want to take it out in single ingots. So there we go. So let's do this this way. All right. So you put that right there and then you pour it. I don't know if this is going to be enough. I'm about to find out. Oh, there we go. That was enough. So there you go. So now with my actual, um, oh god, I need to throw something away again. My goodness. I, I don't need these guys anymore. The stone stuff, you don't need this anymore. All right, let's pour, pour that out. Okay, so now, if you look over here, we have one ingot left. Well, guess what? You can use your ingot casting now, put it right there, and pour the remainder gold. And you're good to go. Now that thing is completely empty. Now, if you have more than that, if you had it equal to a nine, nine ingots left then you can use this one to pour it into an actual block but we didn't so we only needed one all right so now that we have that let's go into here we're gonna get our iron ore over here real quick all right because now we're gonna be actually making the pickaxe so there we go let me pour now remember uh, i think you construct there's no one way of doing it. You can combine multiple type of metals into a pickaxe. So it doesn't necessarily have to be iron only. I'm going to make it this way just for the sake of the video. But you guys can make it whatever you want. So I'm going to put that right there. And then I'm going to pour all my iron right there. So let the iron roll. And uh, oh, wow, there is a stone there. How did that get in there? There you go. So hello. There you go. So we go. Oh, and to put everything across. Hold shift and click once and it'll take whatever it'll fill out all the slots in there. 
So you put all of those in there because I want to duplicate my ore too. I don't have a pulverizer or anything else that could help me do that. This will make that happen for me. So there we go. So let's uh, let's just wait a moment here while we get some iron. And once we get some iron, then we can actually uh, pour it. We'll be good to go. All right, looks like we are about there. There you go. Now if you look over in here, there it is. There's the iron. It looks red. I'm not sure why. It's just the way it is. <laughs> So there you go. So what you want to do now is you want to actually start pouring this in here. So let's uh, let's do it. Let's pour that. And now, there you go. You have a binding made out of iron already. Okay. So there you go. Uh, I'm actually gonna put the rest of the iron in there. Okay. So we take that out, and now we're gonna do the pickaxe head, and just pour. Just right click to pour, and there you go. We have the next piece that we need, and the last piece that we need is the tool rod. Oh. Golly, we got any more room again. All right, so we go. Tool rod next. Pour that on there. Fancy. There you go. We're good to go. I'll put that away there. So there you go. So now we have all the pieces that we need to complete our pickaxe. All right, so now let's pour, let's put this stuff here on the chest binding. All of this can be right here. All the cast can be in there too. So we can make ourselves some room. All right. So now let's put this thing together. Now, with this material, you should be able to do it on this particular table, right there, no problem. With some of the other speciality tools, you won't be able to do that. You'll be, you need, the only thing you can build here is pickaxes, shovels, and axes, and that's it. The next tool table will teach you some of the more advanced stuff that you can actually do. But there you go, so once you have that done, you can put all the pieces right there, take it out, and there you go, sir, ladies and gentlemen. We have a thing construct pickaxe. Now, what you can do is you can add little things to make it better. For example, I'm going to actually add a diamond. You come into the table, you put the pickaxe right there, and then you put the diamond on it, and there you go. We have a diamond modifier on the pickaxe. So this pickaxe is now able to break oxidian. All right, next thing I can do is I can come in and added some redstone. I'm just going to do five for right now. Just for the video. There you go. And there you go. And so on and so on. You can keep doing this. Until you have your desired pickaxe. Sweet. Alright. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. That's all I'm going to teach you for this today. We're going to go into some advanced construct on the next episode. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoy. Please thumbs up. It this help you out. And subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.